Here comes a heavy hitter. Joe Coffey's here to hurt someone badly. A brawler who's paid his dues in battles across Europe and the United States, and he is thirsty for more. The following contest is scheduled for one thumb, making his way to the ring, representing Gallus from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 248 pounds, one half of the Joe Coffey's been the leader of Gallus and a force to be reckoned with on every continent he's set foot on. And Coffey's my kind of competitor. His first instinct is to punch someone in the face. When he starts landing those bombs, it's all academic from there. A group to be feared, the Judgment Day. Yeah, a ruthless, cutthroat collective. And his opponent, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor! The Judgment Day growing more dominant every single night, and their accolades grow with every match. Now, this is a group that's almost impossible to prepare for. The Judgment Day plans for every scenario, always having each other's back. So they create chaos. Judgment Day thrives in chaos. The Judgment Day truly at the height of their powers. Their accolades continue to grow. Yeah, their list of victims continues to grow as well, Michael. They want to be feared and respected. Well, I don't respect them, but I definitely fear them. We've seen many sides of Finn Balor over the years here in WWE, but right now, Balor might just be the most cunning and savage he's ever been. Yeah, in terms of killer instinct, Finn is seriously leveled up. He refuses to hold anything back, even if that means taking out his opponents for good. He seems to be enjoying it, but he's definitely not playing around. It's hard to deny the fact that Balor's brash, uncaring approach as of late has paid off for him and could continue to do so here tonight. And across the way is the perfect blend of brute force and technical precision that is Joe Coffey. Some might mistake him for just another brawler, but his exceptionally hard hits land with expert precision. There's nothing Coffey loves like a good scrap. It seems like he's always itching for a fight. Mess with Joe and he'll take your head right off without any hesitation. And Balor's attack gets cut off. Oh. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. You know, if Balor knows what's good for him, he'll move away from that high-risk style tonight and play it a little smart. High-risk style can also reap high reward, though, Corey. That's what Balor's banking on here. And you've got to admit, it's worked well for him thus far in his career. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Boom! Knock him down. Ouch. So much torque on the knee and ankle. Oh, oh yikes. A stomp to the guts. Re-entering the ring now. 
The Prince telling his opponent, come get you some. Look ringside now, guys. This man is just... He's got him down. Is this it? He gets the shoulder up at two. We'll see if this is the start of a rally. Big four. see the cover valuable seconds passing as they're distracted maybe that was just to keep his opponent off balance and they just busted out an impactful maneuver great strength being shown here Ooh, pinpoint the trachea he's taking some good hits bang pummeled by the double stun So look at this. She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. That's unnecessary. Now, that was a very questionable attack. I think it goes beyond any gray area. Come on. That's a bit much. Makes the cover. Processing this losing effort. Balor's determination here was simply at an all time high. Yeah, Balor came into this match ready to do just about anything to get the W, and he did just that. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Preston, England, the International Women's Champion, Reed O. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE, about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches oh, yeah. ever. The champ has said she wants to make a statement with tonight's match, and the entire division needs to take note. Vikings have arrived. Summoned from Valhalla, they are ready for battle. And her partner, accompanied by Ivar, representing the Viking Raiders, Valhalla! 
Hard to stop this in terms of spectacle. An effective intimidation tactic. Vikings were smart warriors. They're waging a mental war. Well, it's working, because I'm pretty scared. And nobody's surprised at that. Here comes the unholy union. Yeah, and they... Saxton, Byron, what are you doing? Get out from under the table. I got a match to call. Uh, leave me alone, Corey. And the team of Isla Dawn and Alba Fire. Fire and Dawn, not a team you want to cross. Have no problem cursing the competition like actually casting curses. Yeah, you know, Cole, I heard Saxton actually had a full head of hair before he met Alba and Isla. Hey, I still do. A lot of it. The Scottish sorceress is ready for action. They are enchanting, they are sinister, and they are downright dangerous. The diabolical entity of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn rose to infamy during their annihilation of NXT, which only intensified their desire to cause widespread agony and suffering. The devastation of their cryptic powers is realized when they combine their strength to isolate an opponent and destroy them with brutal double-team attacks. Going up against Fire and Dawn can lead to a treacherous outcome for opponents. And guys, I think we'd all agree that Prague is in for one heck of a treat with this match. She's got an answer for that. Uh, driven down to the ground. This could be it. In serious peril, but she's able to roll through and drive a knee for good measure. Kick to the gut. Oh, <laughs> what a right. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Oh, saw it coming. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Punishing stretch. Shooting pain in the shoulders, the kind of thing that builds and builds during a match. That will keep Dawn at bay. Extending their opponent's arm and a big leg drop. <laughs> Ooh! Belly to back suplex. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. She's pushed into the corner. Stand by. Here we go. And Dawn beats her to the punch. Sweet. Uh oh. Slips out of the way. Oh. Ooh. On the apron now. Are you kidding me? Off the apron to the floor. Hitting the edge of the ring like that can do some lasting damage to the body. Jarring European uppercut. Lots of potential for injury here at ringside. These superstars better be careful. The floor, the barricades, our table. None of these things are fun to collide with. 
extremely oh, painful hold there. Man, this is about as close as you can cut it. They're playing with fire here. And wait a minute. What's the man? And that's it. Scores the win for the team. count this one ends in a count out it would have been great to see a pinfall or submission win here quite a shame it ended by count out Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for some chaos. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Glasgow, Scotland. Nikki Cross! The superhero's flown the coop. Nikki's now somehow even more unhinged than before. Guys, did you know that Nikki has a master's degree in history? Wait, wait, what? That is mind-blowing. Since Nikki looks like she can't remember what happened five minutes ago, much less 500 years ago. Oh, yippee, it's Chelsea and Piper. Be careful, Brian. They have the general manager on speed dial. And accompanied by Chelsea Green from Ayrshire, Scotland, Piper Niven! Green and Niven possess a continuity that borders the unorthodox, but when they focus on the same target, they get the job done. Yeah, they're united by their desire to rule the women's division at any cost and make the entire WWE universe miserable. When you're talking about the biggest and baddest, Piper and Chelsea aren't part of the conversation. They are the conversation. Trust me, the last thing I want with Chelsea and Piper is a conversation. One of the most powerful superstars in the women's division, Piper Niven. Piper Niven is no nonsense with no time for fun and games. You get in her way, she'll run right through you without a second thought. You know, stepping into the ring against Niven is certainly no laughing matter. She's ready to make that statement loud and clear here tonight. And she better be prepared for the unpredictable Nikki Cross. There's no telling what we'll see when she's in the ring. That chaotic style of Cross is what has made her such a fierce competitor in the women's division. 
Her ability to shift gears is something that's tough for competitors to grasp. Headbutt to the back of the neck. Ouch. What a chancery. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just gotta toss another person to make a statement. Win at any cost. Looking for a submission here. And now in punching her way out. And breaks the hole. Just insulting. Nikki Cross is obviously a talented superstar, but one in particular could give her the advantage here tonight. It's Nikki's in ring ferocity, Cole. Fewer as tenacious as Nikki Cross. She never knows when to back down or call it quits. That can make her a very difficult opponent. From behind, chop block. Oh, man. Attack right to the sternum. Look at this, just what a barrage of stomps. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. Oh, look at this! Is it enough, guys? Is Shot it enough to get back in this match? Wow! So far, so good. Here's the cover. Gets the shoulder up. Just barely, but it counts. Oh, that hurt to the chest. And Cross is maintaining the advantage now. What tenacity from Nikki Cross, overwhelming the opposition with her ferocious attacks. And she's stunned in the corner. This match is wearing her down. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Added momentum from the ropes. That's like getting hit by a charging bull. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. She heads out of the ring, but she needs to pay attention to the ref's count. Cross left an opening. Is out looking for the victory. There's two. Oh, a kick out. She's not done yet. Nikki was almost down for the count. Almost about to meet defeat. But if we see one more devastating move again, this can be over soon. Oh, she's trying, trying to create space. Trachea. Impressive reversal there. She avoids the contact. Dominating cross body. She slips outside. What does she got in mind? Ooh, forearm connects. Boom. And Nikki Cross brought all her fury on that one. Tossed into the ring. Ooh. Big form. Up and down. What a slam. Teen off. And we expected a fine match, but these ladies have truly defied even the greatest of expectations. Ooh, whoa. And Piper is failing to offer any resistance here. Yeah, Nikki Cross is executing her game plan. Good Lord, scarily close to three. Enabled the counter. She's able to stop the blitz that was coming her way. But Piper has to push now while a window is open. And that was a well-executed attack.
Down to Odin, and a double axe handle smash. Held in a perilous position. Planted face first. Jumping elbow drop. Oh, strong knee connects. Cross looks lost and won't like what's coming. Knee to the gut creates separation. Each competitor showing they've done their homework. What a splash. Cover! Two count. What an incredible match and win for Niven. Here is your winner, Piper Niven! An impactful victory for Piper Niven here. Losing like this would demoralize a normal superstar, but lucky for Nikki, she's far from normal. The damn Dudleys at it again. Oh, baby, we are about to get extreme. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 595 pounds. Timeless brutality, broken bodies, carnage, and debris everywhere. If there is an advantage to be found, the Dudleys will find it. They will use it, they will exploit it, and they will leave you laying. The Dudleys have one mission in mind. Prove they are the greatest team in history. Two men who are always ready for a fight. And two men who reimagined tag team competition. They've used tables, ladders, and chairs like no one before. And guess what, Cole? There's even more TLC on the menu tonight. Oh, have mercy! And their opponents, first, from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, weighing in at 287 pounds, Dude Love! Here comes the coolest cat in sports entertainment history. You guys remember when Dude Love actually won the tag team titles with Stone Cold Steve Austin? Yeah, and then later almost defeated Austin for the WWE Championship. moves. I'm going to go on the record and say that Michael Cole is a better dancer. Thanks, Corey. I won a number of dance contests.
Here comes trouble. The Judgment Day has arrived. One of the most dominant groups in WWE. And accompanied by Dominic Mysterio, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 180 pounds, J.D. A unified front of highly decorated, highly skilled, highly dangerous competitors. When united, they are truly lethal. May they consider themselves inevitable, as if nobody can stop them. Well, nobody has so far. The Judgment Day, almost creative in their physicality. They take pleasure in it, Michael. I hope medical is standing by for this one. Well, the Judgment Day quite simply will do anything to win. Well, there's competition, Corey, and then there's what Judgment Day is willing to resort to. And the Dudley Boys really are one of the most prolific tag teams in all of sports entertainment. No doubt about it, Michael. Winning tag team gold everywhere they've ever gone, and they have gone everywhere. Redefining what tag team wrestling looks like for a generation. The TLC matches, the tables matches, the constant moments throughout the years. It's all pretty un- Perched up top. Measured up nicely. Fist drop. Oof. Knee drop connects. Gets the tag. Capitalizing on JD's mistake. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. A little rope assistance punishing their opponent. That kind of force in the arm can have lingering effects. Sent into the corner. Draped upside down in a tree of woe. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Turned that one around. <laughs> Snap power slam. Tagging his partner in now. Well-placed kick. between these two is evident by that move. Into the pin attempt. And he easily stops the ref's count. Showing his determination there with that kick out. Vicious right forearm. He got whipped into that corner. McDonough looking to inflict as much pain as possible with that attack. Hurricanrana! Jude Love with the tag. Oh, running STO plants him. Nicely done. Leg drop! Down to Odin, and a double axe handle smash. Boom! He is 
delivering elbow after elbow. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Some mental chess here from Dude Love. Caught with that four. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. Things seem to be escalating between them. Yeah, Michael, what started as a disagreement looks like it has turned into bad blood. And just look at the damage to Devon's face. Face buster. And will this be it? He stopped the count for his partner. Across the top rope. What a hot shot. Stomping down. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To keep fresh. Getting set up for something in the corner. Back and forth, back and forth. Looking for the advantage here. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Shoulder tackle. There's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. Teamwork making the dream work right here with that display. Look at this going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. We know what's coming next. What more can be done at this point? Big form. What are we about to see next? Whiplash neckbreaker. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, we're going to grind the features off their face. Oh, right across the top row. Great reversal. Textbook scoop slam. Tag switching it up. Caught with a neck breaker. Big forearm. Oh, God. That blow might be a test to Bubba Ray's toughness. Yeah, and this is the hostility McDonough wanted to bring. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Stop in the arm. Uh-oh. In position. Look out. Here it comes. A shotgun drop kick. He can end it here. He's got him. And he only stays down for a one count. These one counts are going to get harder and harder to kick out of. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. Whoa! Oh, no! A huge miss. There's bad timing, and then there's whatever you want to call that. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, look at this. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Looking worse for wear in the corner now. In full control here. Face first in the turnbuckle. Pinpointing the leg. Punishing the leg. Bubba Ray now. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. He's in off the tag. And tag. He did it. Let's go. Shoulder tackle. Side. Set up for the oh. leg sweep. Nice 
nicely done. Oh, dude, Love got caught with a reversal. Down to Odin, and a double axe handle smash. Leg drop! He may be in a bad way here. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Oh, just turn that around. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Gotta hurt. Uh-oh, he reverses it. Devon with a shot to the back, positioning his opponent on the ropes. Testify, neck breaker. Hoping to end it here. This is it. Well, what a save. Corey, that should have been three. I couldn't agree more. In full control of their opponent with more in mind. Discus punch. These men have given everything they have and more at this point. This is a critical moment now to see who can find a way to keep going. Snake eyes! Dude Love cuts him off. Tremendous pressure on the head and neck. Tag made. Tag made. He finds a counter for Bubba Ray. Double axe handle. Oof. Gets the tag. Close line. Good lord. So effective. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. And a series of vicious stomps. Here he comes off the tag. Oh, running FTO plants. Nicely done. with the tag. Deep into this battle, and Devon is still dealing out damage. Dude Love might be dangerously close to being put away. Oh, my God, this is disgusting. Here he goes for the win. And he closes it out, and he makes the save for his team. Tagged in. Constructing the knee there. He gets out of the way. Flying forearm. Oof. And JD is in some seriously choppy territory. You can really tell that Devon is desperate not to lose control of this match again at this point. Vicious double foot stop. He is just reeling from that offense. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. He's still got more left in the tank. A standing Spanish flyer, are you kidding me? Incredible. Looking wobbly in the corner. Gets him with the counter. Planning on what to do next. Jab. Series of strikes to the back. Loving blows. Drops 
the hammer. Right on the lower back. section oh. these superstars must be feeding off the WWE universe this place is starting to rock clean tag for his partner stopped him in their tracks with a kick to the gut Elbow completely cuts them off. Good gravy, what a body block. He made the tag. Cooking with gas now. Furinagi. Uh oh. Jawbreaker. Call the dentist. Oh, ouch. Turnbuckle into an overhead suplex. Tag is made, and here we go. Get him into the corner. Oh, knee right through the stomach. Oof, nailed the midsection. And he beat Dude Love to the punch. Incoming. Big time power. my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. Able to reverse. Planted with a face buster. Enough already. Measured up nicely. Fist drop. He may get the three count right here. I think so. No, stops the count. Two. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Oh. It is beyond electric in here. This energy is on another level. And he tosses him back in now. And targeting the leg there. Oh, kick right to the back. He's looking to finally put Bubba away. McDonough unleashing J.D. McDonough with the devil inside. Two. Oh, shoulder up before three. Within inches of victory, only to have it snatched away. This match just keeps getting more and more exciting. A new strategy is needed right about now. That couldn't end things. An incredibly impressive showing by this tag team. They say when you know, you know. And I know there's no tag team on the roster that can touch these two guys.
is here. The battle-scarred Viking, Eric. The following contest is a no-holds-barred match. Making his way to the ring, representing the Viking Raiders from Valhalla, weighing in at 247 pounds, Eric. Eric will take what he wants and plows through anyone in his way. Eric ready to do some pillaging in the ring. And when a Viking wins in war, they burn the entire battlefield to the ground. Now here's someone whose only interest is beating people into oblivion. And don't expect to see any mercy or remorse because Mark Coffey has zero. And his opponent, representing Gallus from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 238 pounds, one half of the Intercontinental Tag Team Champions, Mark Coffey! Mark Coffey knows how to hold it down. An NXT UK Heritage Cup winner an NXT and NXT UK Tag Team Champion. Mark drops whoever comes his way. And just think of the trail of decimated bodies Mark spread across the world in the name of Gallus. Mark Coffey's a vicious brawler who is not intimidated by any opponent or type of match. Mark Coffey's all about mauling you on his way to the top of the mountain, and I'm here for it. And there's only one rule in a no-holds-barred match. Pinfalls or submissions have to happen in the ring. Apart from that, this match is anything goes. I have to admit, I'm a sucker for the traditional pinfall submission rules, but in a no-holds-barred match, tradition flies right out the window. Right across the larynx. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Deafening blow to the chest. Boom! Oh, what an uppercut, Jordan. Draped across the top rope. Clubbing forearm. Mark didn't see that coming. Kick out before the one count. An almost instantaneous kick out there. A lot of work left to do. Both superstars showing great awareness of their opponent's repertoire. In a no disqualification match, you never want to be the superstar on the wrong end of a chair or a kendo stick or whatever else might be hiding under the ring. You want to be the one inflicting that punishment because that's how you control the pace and the match as a whole. out of the ring. What's next? <laughs> Call your shot over the left field wall. Somebody's thinking about swinging for the fences. Mark finding an opening. Oh, no, not with the back. Home run. Out of the way in time. <laughs> Set straight into the barricade. Oh, right to the back. He's absorbed some damage already. Big leg drop. <laughs> Eric's able to dodge that. Tensions remain high as this rivalry goes on. Let's talk about an understatement, Cole. Tensions aren't just high. Guards are up. Battle lines are drawn. This isn't just affecting these competitors. The rest of the locker room has found themselves seemingly in the middle of this. Everyone has to choose a side, gentlemen. Can I choose the side of putting an end to all of this? Absolutely not. Uh-oh, this is going to be ugly, guys. Look out! Gut wrench power bomb. That was one of those power bombs that would shorten someone's career. And he 
slides him back to the mat. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. He's got a shot. Guillotine applied. Not gonna lie. Big right hands to the body. He shoves off his opponent and he is out. Oh, saw it coming and got an elbow for their trouble. Belly to back suplex. No! Belly to back penalty kick by Aaron. And confidence they go. Kicks out, just kicked out. No telling how much surviving that will cost, though. I don't know how someone kicks out of that. I don't know how you can still be standing. And I think to get the pinfall, you have to try that maneuver one more time. Knee finds the abdomen. Right in the head. Oh, using the rope to their advantage. Attacking the arm. Oh, what a knee left. Somebody better check his nose. Boom, what a punch. His defenses have fallen, and soon he may too. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. Across the chest. What a forearm. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Ooh, bad landed. Uh oh. Got it scouted. We're gonna see it. Go look at it. Just an absolutely dominating performance from Eric. He was on the warpath. is a no holds barred match and it is for the international world heavyweight championship one of the uk's best exports At 19 years old, he won the first ever WWE United Kingdom Tournament and the championship. Well, Bate made a real name for himself on both sides of the Atlantic. A founding member of NXT UK and now a fixture in NXT in the US. Now do yourself a favor and look up his NXT UK championship battles against the likes of Gunther and Butch. Some of the best matches in NXT history. Bate has run the show in every form of NXT, but still has much to prove in all of WWE.
Scottish warrior is ready for battle. Brandishing the King's Blade. This is a man who fought his way all the way to the top of WWE. This man is a real force, Drew McIntyre. You know, Drew McIntyre arrived and he was the chosen one. Handpicked by WWE Chairman Mr. McMahon. And Drew will admit that he became complacent. Felt like he didn't have to work hard to get to the top. He went away. He got a new attitude. And now he's back bigger and badder than ever. With a vengeance. Yeah, this new attitude from Drew McIntyre dictates he will take whatever he wants. Introducing the challenger from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates! And his opponent from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the International World Heavyweight Champion, the Scottish Warrior, You can see it in everyone's eyes. They all want this championship. Big title match here. In my opinion, this championship could main event any show, any place, any time. Bold declaration, Byron, but given the competitors vying for the title tonight, I'd be inclined to agree. Bait cuts him off. He's been placed in the corner now. Oh, uncorked a big punch. Saw the up and over coming. And he's taking this to the outside now. You know, I've always been curious about the versatility. Looking to rock it in. Billy. Agonizing roll. Got to find a way out, and they do. Oh, he fights bait back. Vicious right forearm. Here's a pin for the title. The champ avoiding a one count. He's not even close to being done. Tyler Bate looking to lock it in. Billy, way to break the curse. Byron, how does this matchup require a different mindset? A superstar must be prepared to go all out. Be as aggressive and vicious as possible. Remember, it's no disqualification. The superstar can do whatever they want, but it can only end with a three count or a tap out. Placed into the corner. Oh, look at this. This is going to be nasty. Oh, Exploder suplex into the corner. The hit's adding up a little on the champ. Hard hitting damage coming from Bate. Compromised position here. Down on the windpipe. As the challenger pin, is this it? And the champ does not end it. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Carefully 
play stomp to the arm. And a Oof. stomp to the gut, too. Tossing them aside. That is the champion demanding respect, saying I can control you anytime I want to. He's one step ahead there. Dominating shoulder tackle. Drop kick. Cover by the challenger. He narrowly avoids the count. That was a long two. Wait, 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 wait. Almost two and a half. He thought he had it. Able to sidestep it. Tough position to be caught in here. Oh, right across the throat. An unrelenting assault being brought to bait. Bate has to find an opening and respond. The clock goes up and over. Oh, what a kick! You saw the up and over coming. He leaves the ring and there's no countouts in this one. The universal signal for extreme. The kendo stick has entered the fray. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. That was playing with fire and getting burned. The decision to take such a risk at this juncture is questionable. And Bates steers clear there. McIntyre just so dominant. Drew exhibiting all his power and force. He knows how to avoid contact. DDT plants them. What's coming next? Back suplex. Very nice. No clue what he hopes to find down there. Channeling the spirit of the Hanson brothers in the form of that hockey stick. And gets tossed back into the mat. Quick oh. strike to the lower body. Each shot landing with a little bit more venom. Slugging away with everything they've got. Just teeing off with that fight for everybody. Two Titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. And the pin is broken by the champion. Wow. I thought for sure that was it. Arm ringer applied. Oh my goodness, that might have snapped a finger. How's that for a counter? Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Real European uppercut. And McIntyre on the receiving end again. Drew's power currently being suppressed. Uh-oh. Ooh, slows that down with a well-placed kick. The champion into the cover. And McIntyre will leave with the championship again. Man, what a title defense. Here is your winner, and still the international world heavyweight champion, the Scottish warrior. Big win as he retains the championship. He came out here and defended what was his. You have to give him credit.
And here comes one of our favorites. The following contest is a tag match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Newcastle upon Tyne, England, weighing in at 217 pounds, the welterweight champion, D. Boss Tank Pass. No matter how high the deck is stacked, this one competitor will never give up. Well, as long as never giving up is the only strategy they bring with them into the ring, the odds are they will always be stacked against them. Keeps his focus 100% of the time. That's why he's the champion. <laughs> Just a different feeling in the air when WWE's resident superhero makes his entrance. And his partner from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! So much of the human highlight of the night's power comes from his speed and quickness that sometimes his strength gets overlooked. When it comes to the art of flight, no one does it like Ricochet. But remember, he can also throw fists with the best of them if the situation calls for it. Rollins has arrived. The outfits, the outrageousness, there's nobody like Seth freaking Rollins. And from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth freaking Rollins! A storied career. Rollins has held every singles and tag team title of note in WWE. The first ever NXT champion. The first man to hold the newly minted World Heavyweight Championship. Rollins is one of the most complete competitors this industry has ever seen and is a cornerstone in WWE. You want to prove yourself? Test the visionary. Perhaps the most dangerous face of Foley. And from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, weighing in at 287 pounds. You don't win or lose against Cactus Jack, guys. You, you just simply survive. Yeah, easier said than done, Michael. Cactus Jack has proven he will go to any length to win. I hope there's medical staff standing by for this match. I think we're going to need them. All right, you're right about that, Cole. And the fire department as well, and perhaps a cleanup crew, and maybe a barbed wire removal specialist. Do those exist?
And the bell is rung, getting this tag match started. When you think of tag teams that are itching to make an impact on tonight's event, you don't have to look any further than these two. Two teams with a desire to steal the show. Oh, oh jumping knee strike. Lights out. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, look at this. Oh, kicks. Capped off with a big one. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Running Hurricane Rana. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. Oh, a spike DDT. Wow. Corkscrew moonsault. Beautiful. Sure was pretty, but we don't judge matches on style points. And a carefully measured knee drop. Saw it coming and got out of there. Arm ringer. Right hand will count. Oh, this. What a headbutt. He can do it here. Denying a two count there. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Tossed into the corner. Saw that one coming. Ah, clubbing blow to the back. Makes him pay with a counter. Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized on? DDT planted him. He's getting a little battered now. Getting a look at how volatile Jack can truly be. And it's Cactus Jack with the reversal. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Wow, what a drop kick. It's incredible, the inventiveness we are seeing on display here. Fends off the attack with an elbow. Tag is good. Oh, tag made. Oh, man. For the record, Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. No thank you. Oh, what a counter. longer oh man right to the arm hyper extend your elbow he was elusive there he went right into that turnbuckle double big back body drop when you see a unit as aligned as they are it's really incredible Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Beautiful drop kick. He's looking a little off balance. The kick takes their opponent down. Holy moly, lands on their feet and painful. That just reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about making a statement. Stretching and tearing at all the ligaments in the leg. Oh, he's looking to completely render this leg useless. Oh, that hurt. Wow, Ricochet connecting with devastating impact. Rollins has to find a way to right the ship here. Ah, oh, jumping knee strike. Lights out. They're gonna wear down their opponent. Oh, with the heel hook stretch. Into the corner now. Oh, we're going to grind the features off their face across the top rope. That showed a complete lack of respect for your competition and for our sport. Oh! Into the cover! Oh! Seth Rollins helping catapult the team to victory. Tag team excellence in its purest form. You simply love to see it. 
And I hope we see these guys tagging again real soon. Make way for a wrestling machine. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Weighing in at 237 pounds, Kurt Angle! Intensity. Integrity and intelligence, the three eyes all in one elite package. Yeah, some would say Kurt Angle is competitive almost to a fault, but he's always entertaining to watch. One of the best to ever do it. You just know to expect greatness whenever Kurt Angle steps in between the ropes. It's time to stand up and show some respect to the future of WWE, Seth Rollins. And his opponent, representing the authority, from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! Cocky, crafty, conniving, Seth Rollins is one heck of an athlete, but his ego and attitude have obviously eclipsed his otherwise impressive talent. Okay, Cole, crafty, yeah, you yourself dubbed him the architect, Cole. Conniving, he simply has vision. Cocky? Why wouldn't he be? He's the future of this company, like it or not. Sometimes it can be hard to tell just how good Seth Rollins really is. But he really is capable in the ring. We've seen that before and will no doubt see that tonight. Well, I'd say he's more than capable. Rollins believes he's on a whole other level. And it's hard to argue against that. Kurt Angle may just be one of the most spectacular pure athletes to ever climb into a WWE ring. An Olympic gold medalist, he's triumphed in every arena he's competed in. It really speaks to Angle's natural abilities. Locking up in the ring is like second nature to him. So when he puts all those well-trained instincts and muscle memory to work, you better watch out. No question, Kurt is counting on those instincts you mentioned, Corey, to carry him to his next big triumph here. But taking down an ambitious and hungry... Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. The heel hooks in. The... And fighting out of it. Successfully does. Couple effective shots. Placed in the corner. And he scores a reversal on Rollins. He's taking this to the floor now. 
Ouch. Close line. So effective. Big counter by Angle. To the small of their back. These two having an answer for everything. Kurt Angle has undergone a number of neck surgeries in his career. Is that going to impact his performance here tonight? Of course, that's going to be a concern, but I don't see it impacting significantly. If he doesn't feel like his neck is up to it, Angle's adaptable enough to change his game plan. Sleeper hold cinched it. And breaks out of the sleeper. Saw it coming and slowed it down with the back elbow. Plant. Wait a minute, what's the manager doing under the apron? A manager grabbing anything under the ring is beyond unfair. It's just downright evil. Able to interrupt the attack. Kick to the gut. Hooked up. DDT. Big forearm. And he sends him into the corner. Waistlock applied in the corner. Check out this power. Belly to belly, way overhead. Look at this. Slip shot sent on. Yes. Pinpoint precision, right on target. Oh, oh elbow to the face. Setting him up, got the head scissors on. Connecting with a sharp elbow. Just disrespectful. But this could also light a fire under you. Make you fight even harder. Whip back into the ring. Here's a cover. cover. And he kicks out at two. He really thought that was it. Oh, that was just malicious. Oh, that's just insulting. Set is being overwhelmed. Past injury is not affecting Angle here, showing his adaptability in his offense. Angle with a spectacular single leg into the ankle lock. The ankle lock. He's clearly desperately trying to get out of this situation. Oh, great right counter. I didn't think things had gotten this heated between them. But... Rollins with a head of steam. Big air. Get right to the back of the neck. We've seen this win matches for Rollins. The cover. He manages to kick out. What strength. Angle on instinct alone, preserving his opportunity tonight. There's no way that was what Seth Rollins was expecting. He thought this match was his. Left by the turnbuckles. Looking for a scoop slam, but from behind, an inverted DDT connects. Oh no, getting in position. What's he planning to do here? The heel hooks in. This will tear your knee apart. And fighting out of it. Successfully does. Couple effective shots. Picture perfect. Will be ended here. It's over. It is over. Here. Rollins more than ready to celebrate this win. Angle just didn't have what it takes tonight. Not often we see him come up short.
contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Air Scotland. Weighing in at 178 pounds, the action champion, Supernova 11, Nalanda! The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. The champ does not want anyone making their name at his expense. He plans on fighting hard tonight. The Big Bad Wolf is on the hunt. Wolfgang stays in a perpetual state of reckless abandon. This is going to break down fast. And his opponents first, representing Gallus from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 255 pounds, Wolfgang! Singles, tag team, traditional match, a stipulation, it doesn't matter to Wolfgang. The more fists that are flying, the better. If Wolfgang had his way, the ring area would be turned upside down and in shambles. And then he'd start throwing people around. Wolfgang's just a different breed of animal. We won't see any catch-as-catch-can moves or high-risk theatrics. Just brutality unleashed. Corey, it's this simple. Wolfgang smells blood and goes on a rampage. Here comes the mangy mutt of the Brawling Brutes. And representing the Brawling Brutes from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds, Butch! Whatever happened to the soft-spoken, calm competitor? Oh, Cole, those days are done. D-U-N-N-E, done. Yeah, now he's more like a rabid animal. Butch ain't wrapped right, okay? He's not quite all there. Yeah, but that's what makes him so dangerous. Here we go, triple threat matchup, and in this one, you've got to keep an eye out for these superstars taking advantage of the stipulations. Competitors set for action as we see Noam Dog, Wolfgang, and Butch. Triple threat matches are a beast of their own. No disqualification, no count out, and twice the threat of being pinned or submitted. Suplex. Big forearm. Boom! Slam! With authority. With the counter. Looking for more damage here. Ah, release back suplex. It wasn't the height or distance that caused the damage, but they certainly contributed. Look at that insult to injury with that one. But I guarantee they're going to take great umbrage with that offense. Getting him into the corner. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Straight impact on the throat. He's able to fight Wolfgang off. He's looking for an implement of destruction under the ring. 
It's like I always say, he who has the sledgehammer has the last laugh. Oh man, that hurt the back, spine rattling. He could pin his opponent right here. The pin's broken up. Fight being brought right into Wolfgang's front door. Kick! Picking up speed. Turned inside out with a clothesline. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Oh, look at measuring their opponent into a suplex. Armbar applied. Will they tap out? Trying to roll through. Hammerlock arm breaker here. Submission maneuver in place. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Making that shoulder a black cover. Still no end in sight here. Oh, what a right suplex. And a direct attack brought to Butch there. Yeah, no end displaying a higher level of aggression. With a moonsault. And just like that, we kick the tempo up a notch. Wolfgang saw it coming. Oh. Hooked up. John Henry swinging the hammer like that. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. And he's going with the great equalizer here, the steel chair. And a well-executed move we just saw there. Can he do it here? Oh, and he breaks up the pin. Going downstairs. Oh, oh. better hit. There's a cover. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. An agile escape. Big form. Face gouge. Oh, God. I see how it is. Going to take any shortcut to bypass a clean competition. Hey, there's nothing wrong with a shortcut, Saxton. Oh, my gosh. What impact. He's in a little bit of trouble now. Yeah, triple threat matches are no cakewalk, and they are showing us why right now. The pain and punished. Oh, what an insecurity right in the ear. No, I'm ending this fight right there. Turn around, ref. The action's behind you. And gets the win, beating the odds in this triple threat. Quite the impressive victory coming out on top against two very capable, very prepared competitors. I have to say, I'm just as impressed by this win as the WWE Universe. Triple threat matches are no joke.